Uh, hey everyone, so I got a lot of questions on my Instagram um, about making a tutorial for some concrete shaders so I thought I might just post it on YouTube instead of making a Patreon because it's more accessible to more people. Um, so yeah, I got this little folder here which I just picked out some textures from textures.com, uh, Quixel and um, some other sites that I found. So I'll be using these. Um, but you can really use any textures you want and yeah, so I'm using a displacement map uh, An albedo a normal and a roughness map. I Also have this basic scene that's kind of preset up. This is just an emissive texture just so I can see what what's happening um, But yeah So let's get started So usually with the albedo I'll just put that here and Plug that in see how it looks so this is just the base image of a texture. It's going to look really plain. Um, I usually in Blender like to use the RGB curves. Um, I actually haven't found an equivalent in different softwares for this. Um, so it's really useful that Blender has this. You can basically really darken your image or really lighten it. Um, but it's really, really useful. In Maya, Arnold and Redshift, I haven't really found an alternative. But yeah, it's a big plus for Blender in my opinion. So then I usually use a roughness. So this is quite a nice roughness map. So here you can see you get a lot more um, a lot more details already and like different reflections. Uh, you can also control this with a color ramp. Um, so if you just put that in here, drag it over. So the black parts, if you bring this up, it's going to make it more reflective and bring out more of the black, which is the uh, more reflective part and then if you bring in more of the whites it brings in more of the non-reflective parts so you can really play around with this you can also make the base more gray and that makes the base reflectiveness less reflective but yeah there's a lot of different um, combinations you can really do so next I'd probably go with the normal or bump map I usually go with a bump map um, so we're plugging this into height and then from normal to normal. So as you can see, this looks extremely gross at the moment. So in Blender, I think you want to turn down the distance because it saves on detail. So I usually have this like really low 0 0.01 and you kind of get very um, a very subtle effect. As you can see, this is still kind of looks low quality. It's because it's a 2K texture, I think. So what I usually do in this case is I just scale this up a little bit to like even sometimes like 7 or 11 it really depends on the normal map but as you can see that's tiled it a lot and you get a lot more um it looks a lot higher quality in my opinion at least so then another detail that's really cool that i like to add is displacement maps so this is usually just displacement uh, and then you put this into the height and we need a displacement mode just over here. I don't usually use Blender, so this is all coming back to me as I do it. But yeah, okay. And then I think we also have to enable it somewhere in here. I think. Oh yeah, so it's make sure you just uh, set this to displacement and bump. Um, and then it's going to jump down like this and I think the shape by default in Blender isn't really subdivided so we can just add a subdivision surface um, set this to simple and then just do like 10 uh, you want to go easy on this though because it's going to kind of uh, go harsh on your computer so then just set the scale to something low like 0 0.1 and you get this kind of variation happening uh, where the mesh actually comes out so we can set this zero one maybe uh, this is also a lower quality texture so I do like to tile these set this to like three so yeah you can see this is already looking pretty nice to be honest um, I reckon we can get some more displacement so just add a point five to that um, and maybe we can also increase the reflections a little bit. But yeah, this is kind of a basic concrete shader. 
and um, you can really play around with this if you wanted to. Oh yeah, and also if you want to get variation on the displacement map, I just tried this before, and it did seem to work. Um, you can also plug in a color ramp here and you can slide the black up and it will give you some different uh, variations of how much of the displacement it shows. Um, which I also found pretty cool. So if you wanted less of the bumps to show, as you can see, as you slide this up, um, it's it shows more of the flat parts of the texture. And then the opposite is true for the white part of it. It will show the stronger whites. So this is a bit too far in my opinion. But um, yeah, something like this is pretty nice. Um, this one isn't the most reflective, but um, can easily uh, customize this to your liking but yeah this is a pretty basic rundown of usually how I do my concrete textures um, I usually spend hours on this to get like the perfect look that I want but um, yeah it's not too difficult it's just really the basics and just playing around with it until you get a result that you like um, and yeah I just wanted to share that so I hope you guys liked it and you can find it useful um, yeah